In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your products in a CSV file and import them into your products area in Website Forge. Here I have my Excel sheet open with my CSV file and I'm going to change the quantities on hand. And these are the only product changes that I'm going to make. So I'm going to save this file. It's going to throw up this error. I'm just going to say yes. Once I'm logged into Website Forge, I'm going to browse to my e-commerce module. And go to Import Products. Now I'm going to browse for my file and updated products was the file that I had opened and edited and saved. So I click open. <clears throat> it was a comma delimited file and it had a Windows 1252 character set. I'm going to tell it to parse first line. And you see down here the options. Um, the product type map should be set to default gift certificates can be set to gift certificates. And down here, these are the columns that are in the file. Because I exported the file from Website Forge, the product fields match up. But if you have a custom made CSV file or a CSV file from another vendor, these fields may not match up. So the SKU number may be called manufacturer part number or something to that effect. And if that's the case, you can find it in this drop-down list and match it up accordingly. Uh, in this instance, I want to update the file, the uh, products file. I do not want to delete the categories before import. Uh, I do not want to import the first line of the file because the first line of the file was um, the header pretty much with the names of the fields. I don't need to import that. And this is pretty much saying that if it's not assigned to a category, the default category it's going to go into is all categories. I do want to leave that that way. And I'm not importing any images, so I can just leave that at default. I click on Start Import. and it shows that it ignored one line which I told it to do and that it successfully imported 14 items. So I'm going to go over to my products area and see now that my quantity on hand fields for these two items that I edited are updated. And that is how you do an import with a CSV file in Website Forge.